Okay, greetings from Seattle. Now I'm going to try to make this video short and sweet. Um, these are my two bikes, the Yamaha XSR 900. I've got a more detailed video on everything I've done on that. Um, but this is going to be a short and sweet video on lighting. And this is my Honda NC750X. Again, I've got another video which details all of the mods and upgrades I've done to it. This video is going to be all about lighting. I've had a few requests or questions regarding lighting because um, I've done a few mods to the lighting on both bikes. So I'm going to try to demonstrate um, the effects and the differences between the two. So again, I am not a professional YouTuber. This is very amateur, but hopefully it helps. So first things first is this is not the OEM uh, XSR 900 headlamp. This is um, uh, a headlamp fixture or fitting done by Brogue Motorcycles and their fitting allows you to put on the JW speaker adaptive headlight which they sell as a package. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate what that looks like and then on the NC750X this is just the OEM headlamp um, LED, but we're going to look at the Denali daytime running lights, um, which are right here on both sides. Um, so I'll demonstrate what those look like. Main thing to know with those is it's not, they're not designed to throw light a long distance down the highway, for example. Um, I'm more of an urban rider. I bought these lights just for conspicuity so that I can be seen and also provide a little bit of extra light in the on the ground in front of me um, <clears throat> and then the neat feature with the JW speaker on the XSR 900 which you'll see um, or actually you won't really see it but it's adaptive so when you are banking or turning the bike the light will come down to the sides and illuminate the direction that you are traveling. I won't really be able to demonstrate that here though, so we're just going to be looking at the overall strength of the lights side by side and also what the Denali lights, um, the daytime running lights look like. There is a low and a high beam. I have a switch here which um, I can press to turn the lights off, have it on low or high. Again, it's uh, all detailed in my other video. So, um, I've angled both bikes in front of these garage doors. It's about just, just about 6 p.m. here almost. Um, so it's not completely dark, but it's dark enough where we'll be able to compare the two. Um, and I'm gonna turn off this light which I'm holding now so that we can look at both um, pure without any uh, additional light. Okay, let's get to it. So first, let's put on the NC750. That is the headlamp. Pretty good, obviously, because um, I don't have a road in front of me. It just sort of displays the light as a long beam like that but I've never had any issues with it. I think it's great. Um, and now let's put on the Denali lights. Actually, I have to turn on the engine because the Denali lights are wired through my Thunderbox, so it only provides power to the lights when the engine is on. So I'm gonna turn it on. <clears throat> First we'll do, oh, so there's the low beams. So you can see they're on now. Definitely more visible. Cars can see me, especially with the uh, OEM daytime orange running lights. But now it, you can definitely be seen. As you can see, it doesn't really throw any extra light when I switch them on. Now let's put on the high version. Oops, there we go. Now that's definitely brighter when the high beams are on. They are super bright. I don't usually put them on 
because I don't want to blind traffic in front of me, but it definitely gives you more ambient light right in front of you. So again, that's no daytime running lights. That's them on the low beam. That's them on the high beam. Pretty big difference with the high beam on. Okay. Now let's look at the XSR 900. This is with the upgraded JW speaker headlamps. And they do that really cool graphic. So you can see there, it's pretty strong. Again, it's an LED beam. It doesn't look like much, um, or at least off camera, it just looks like a small light in the center, but on camera it's illuminated all the way around. Anyway, I would say that it is stronger than the OEM Honda NC750 headlamp. Let's, com let's put the Honda one on now. I would say it's a little brighter, it's also more far-reaching. Um, so I hope that helps with your decisions on your lighting. I think that the Yamaha XSR OEM light is perfectly fine. It's also LED, but the upgraded JW speaker headlamp I think is much stronger. Not much stronger, but it is stronger. And again, if you're curious as to what that starting display looks like, I'm going to see if I can get a nice angle of it here. Uh, this is what it looks like when you start it up. Oops. It does that uh, kind of cool rotating display. And then also, interestingly, if we compare the OEM daytime running lights, I would say that the Hondas, and we're talking about the orange lights, um, the Hondas are a little brighter. But both are great. Fantastic bikes. Hope that helps. Bye.